As a young minor league baseball player, Jerry McKinnis was obsessed with the curveball. But that was before he went trout fishing on Arkansas's White River. When I got down below the dam at the little dock where I had make, made arrangements to uh, take a float trip, I obviously remember walking down the ramp and the guide at the bottom of the ramp, uh, he said, are you Jerry? And I said, yeah. And uh, he said, well, my, my name is Forrest Wood and I'll be your guide today. And lots of things happened from that point. McKinnis died November 3rd in Little Rock leaving behind a legacy as one of the country's most well-known fishermen and a trailblazer in television production. He was 82. After that first Arkansas fishing trip in the late 1950s, McKinnis left baseball and went to work as a fishing guide on the White River and Bull Shoals Lake. He and Wood became lifelong friends and both made incredible contributions to the sport of fishing. Wood as the founder of Ranger Boats and later as an Arkansas Game and Fish Commissioner and McKinnis as the host of one of the longest running programs in television history. McKinnis eventually settled in Little Rock and set up shop at Lake Maumel, where one particularly good day of fishing ended with an invitation from KATV sports director Bud Campbell for McKinnis to show off his catch on the evening news. That turned into a regular segment and later into McKinnis' own television show, The Fishing Hole. Several years later, while fishing in upstate New York, McKinnis was sitting in a motel room and ran across a cable TV channel dedicated to regional sports programming in New England. He set up a meeting with a fledgling company in Bristol, Connecticut, and signed a deal for The Fishing Hole to air on the new network, which the world would soon come to know as ESPN. When I was young, I thought I was lucky, and now I'm at this age and realize that every one of them steps was, they were supposed to be, and the state of Arkansas was the big step. The fish and hole success on ESPN led to McKinnis doing more work for the network, leading to the birth of JM Associates, a Little Rock-based production company that's still cranking out shows for networks including ESPN, National Geographic, and the Outdoor Channel. The fishing hole ran in one form or another for more than four decades, and when it went off the air in 2007, it was ESPN's second longest running show behind only SportsCenter. That longevity and a down-home style endeared McKinnis to multiple generations of anglers who traveled to exotic destinations and fished vicariously with McKinnis and guests like Ted Williams and Bobby Knight. But McKinnis was often quick to point out that it was a passion for Arkansas trout fishing and a chance meeting with Forrest Wood that spawned it all. It still boils down to Arkansas and, and Forrest. If it wasn't for those two things, um, we wouldn't we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'd have probably been a carpenter in the suburbs of St. Louis, <laughs> going to them little going to Montauk State Park every now and then and catching some put and take trout. McKinnis, who's enshrined in multiple halls of fame, traveled the world to document fishing adventures. But he often pointed to the natural states, lakes, and streams as the incubator of his success. I was uh, doing stories from Greer's Ferry and, and, and Lake Greeson and Conway and, you know, and, and, and it, it was like the, the background was a state and it was there for me. And, and so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a weird story, isn't it? <laughs>